Hi Capricorn, welcome to your money and career reading for uh, the week of October 2nd. I thought I'd throw in a weekly read for you. Um, I know all of you have been manifesting, or at least most of you who've been watching my videos the last few months have been manifesting a, a new opportunity, a brand new beginning when it comes to your money and career sector. So I thought let's just check in on the energies and see what's coming in uh, for you. Uh, so I'm gonna be pulling um, a, a free flow sort of a spread so um, you know we'll just roll with what the cards have in store for us um, if you are keen on winning a 15 minutes free personalized reading with me please keep watching this video till the end where I shall explain how you could be one of my lucky subscriber winners um, to win a personalized free reading with me it could be on any topic that you like could be on love could be on work I'll be announcing the winners on this channel in the next few weeks, so uh, please keep watching. Okay, let's just take a look at your cards, Capricorn, shall we, and see what's what's coming in for you when it comes to the week of October, the week of October second. Okay, so just last couple of shuffles before we dive right in. Last couple of shuffles. Okay, cool. What's the current energy around Capricorn? Ooh, Nine of Swords. You're anxious. You're anxious about something. Let's put that back since it didn't quite fall out of the deck. What's the current energy around my Capricorn collective when it comes to money and career? What's the current energy? You've got the Eight of Swords. So clearly it did want to show up in terms of uh, you're up in your head about something, uh, Capricorn. And I have a feeling that... Um, you know, I kind of know what it is. I think a lot of you are manifesting a new beginning. You want to be open to something. And if you've watched your daily reading for the 2nd of October, you will see that, you know, there was some kind of resistance, some kind of like push and pull energy when it came to your money and career sector. Uh, it was kind of like you're manifesting something, but you're also resisting change. So it was an interesting kind of read. So if you haven't seen it, uh, do check it out. We've got the Eight of Wands and the King of Crystals. You're showing up pretty strong in your own reading, which is always a good sign. The King of Crystals is here. The Eight of Wands is here. Um, I feel like there is a lot of communication. Uh, some of you are receiving news about a new opportunity. Something is trying to come in. Um, but I keep seeing that I think you're up in your head about it. Like you're not... Um, very sure whether this is the right new beginning for you as much as you've manifested something i think people want to talk to you people want to communicate with you but you keep showing me in the cards that you're not sure if this is the right opportunity for you um so that's interesting because i think that happens when we're when we haven't really evaluated and thought through all the pros and cons of where we're at what we're trying to manifest so i'm not calling you out here capricorn but i think uh, with this eight of wands there is momentum maybe some of you are really busy like exploring opportunities talking to people but then you want something that can work for you long term so i think what's holding you back perhaps is that the things that are coming your way don't seem very long term sustainable to you and i think fine you know if that's your criteria sure no problem capricorn but as long as like you're aware and you know what your criteria for evaluation is Let's just look at this Eight of Swords. Yeah, oh my God, you can't make this up. Eight of Swords clarified by another Eight of Swords. Wow, you're really up in your head. But what I want you to know and appreciate about the Eight of Swords is that, you know, it often looks like, oh my God, I'm really trapped and all of that, but you're not. Like, this is a card that often says if you just remove the blindfold, you'll see that she's not really bound by these swords. They're around her, not in front of her. And she's very loosely tied by these things. So she can simply open up her arms and she can release herself from this. So are you keeping yourself stuck somewhere, stuck in a certain way of thinking, a certain way, a belief system, uh, not feeling worthy perhaps of... Uh, something that wants to come in but you know what the universe is trying to bring in something and when the universe knows that it's time for a change it's time for a change and it will bring something in for you so you can be sure of that what's the eight of wands the three of wands this is something you've been waiting on this is what i keep getting in your recent reads that you've manifested something something that you took a lot of time and waited on and now it's finally here what's the king of crystals what's the king of crystals the lovers so you have a decision to make you have uh, 
a choice coming up and i think there's something about this choice that is keeping you a little bit stuck what's holding capricorn back what is this eight of swords the king of cups ah you're not sure whether okay this is what i'm getting like cognitively objectively rationally maybe you know this is a great decision maybe this is a great opportunity it can help you make a lot of money it can also get you that long-term stability but somehow i feel like your heart is not invested in it like you're not sure if this is what truly gives you that joy and happiness so and that's great i think for after a very long period of time capricorn you're trying to take a decision when it comes to your money and career sector which is actually more aligned with your heart and where you feel like you want to do this you want to invest in this um so i think that's what the what the toss up is between going after the heart or going after what your objective rational brain is asking you to do show me more on the eight of swords the magician crazy i mean this is you've manifested this into being and then we have the six of swords maybe this opportunity requires you to travel um relocate move to a different country and you're a bit unsure about that or the business that you're trying to set up has an overseas element to it and you're not sure how to go about all of that that's perhaps what's holding you back because you you need to basically step out of your comfort zone capricorn you need to move away from what seems familiar into new unexplored territories and i think it's going to be good for you but you know you're just like at the precipice of it like you can see the change that's coming into your money and career sector but you're hesitating because just before you take that leap of faith and which is very natural which happens to all of us as humans you know you're kind of like am i sure i want to go on this journey and that's good you're crossing your t's dotting your i's what is capricorn moving towards like what is all this what is this decision what is this communication that's coming in with the eight of wands what is capricorn moving towards ooh you're moving towards extreme abundance extreme happiness so first thing i want to say is capricorn i mean not to sound very deterministic but whether you like it or not i think you are being steered towards a beautiful path okay you have a little bit of resistance right now i feel like you're here right now in this eight of swords questioning not sure whether this is for you or not for whatever reason i mean you have your reasons and like i'm no one to judge obviously you will ultimately know what decision to take but um you're being steered towards something and it is something that is going to make you very happy so while you're trying to mull over this decision i would say capricorn it's going to make you so happy it's going to bring in that sunshine it's going to bring in that clarity and i think you're seeking that because remember king of cups was what was holding you back you want to do something in your money and career sector that makes you very happy makes you very uh, satiated very fulfilled show me more on the sun the world something about relocation travel is showing up very strong in your reading uh so the world has the four fixed signs and the next fixed sign that's going to show up is scorpio which is going to be pretty much in 3 weeks or so mid october to mid november so uh scorpio season could be very significant and the one after that is aquarius which is in mid jan um to mid feb so those could be significant timelines for you on when this opportunity is is coming to a realization also you have to close out a cycle to bring in something new what is capricorn closing out the three yeah you have to basically move away from wherever you've been in terms of your career in terms of a job if this is a business opportunity some of you need to step away from that some of you need to you know take on a new challenge like take on something which makes you more fulfilled but you have to step away from where you've been you have to step away from your comfort zone is what i'm hearing capricorn um and that's why you're kind of hesitating before you take that plunge okay let's see let's see what chapter is opening up what chapter is opening up wow look at that from the 3 you're jumping to the 8 so there's more abundance more financial abundance more financial freedom more money because pentacles can very well represent your money your coin your tactical physical assets show me more on the new chapter that's opening up king of pentacles once again and this is where we started with the king of pentacles so you're moving towards long term stability happiness with the sun card you're closing out this I feel like this is like the last call before you jump to this and you are going to take this leap of faith but you're still hesitating. So let me get you some guidance that can help you kind of get more clarity, help you take a decision that feels very aligned with your core, that doesn't leave you feeling dissonant. So let's see. Let's see. 
What is your advice for Capricorn at this time? The Three of Swords, the Six of Cups. It, exactly. I mean, wow, I just love it when, you know, the cards just kind of summarize everything that we've been talking about. There is some deep hurt, loss, disappointment, discontentment related to your past or where you currently are at. And you know it's going to be your past real soon because you've already decided the decision. You've already decided to move on from this and move towards the Eight of Cups basically goes to the Nine of Cups, which is about a major wish fulfillment, aligning your actions with your dreams, with your beliefs. So you know that you're very close to that. But you need to step away from something that has disappointed you or kept you feeling less than. What is this Three of Swords? Okay, wow, look at that. Lovers, lovers, your cards are repeating. So I have a feeling that maybe, uh, sorry, I need to cover these cards because YouTube doesn't like seeing these cards. So you took a decision in the past. Uh, I've got it now. Let's, let's have a chat, Capricorn. I think you took a decision in the past which did not work out the way you were hoping for it to work out and that weighs very heavy on you and a part of you is saying that look i've done this before where i tried to take a leap of faith towards something new i left something and moved towards something new but it didn't work out for me and that is why you're hesitating once again to take a decision because you have the lovers um, in your in your in your spread twice here and here and you're not sure whether this time around this decision is going to work out so the advice that i have for you is when you take a decision from a place of clarity from a place of calm from a place of peace from a place of yes you know obviously get advice from other people get other people's points of view but ultimately you take a decision that feels connected to your own source those are typically the decisions that will always bring us closer to our highest greatest good you obviously life is never rainbows and sunshine you might have a few bumps on the road i mean that is for sure but you know it's never going to be all perfect it's all ebbs and flows but essentially i think what your spirit team is trying to tell you is that you you will learn through this experience you will and you're not the same person who's taking the decision this time around so even though you're not happy with where your last decision ended up but just know that you're a different person you've done a bit of healing you've done a bit of growing up you've done a bit of walking this path to know what you want to stand for and to know what you don't want to stand for so don't worry because even though you've been at this crossroads before in your professional life this crossroads this time around is very different because you have newer skills you have new knowledge you have more awareness of yourself um, like if i go back to the cards here you know what works for you and what didn't work for you in the past capricorn so i need you to trust your gut is what they're saying so let me just clear out some of these cards um and then get you a few angel answers cards and as you know by now that these cards have a yes or no um element to them so i mean they have cards in them uh, the deck sorry has cards in them that have a yes or a no on it so if you have a question a uh, good time to reflect on your question before i start to pull i'm gonna pull three cards i'm getting guided to pull three cards for my capricorn collective for the week of october 2nd i think this is a very important week for you to come to a certain decision to come to a certain epiphany and i think i'm 100 percent sure that you will take the right decision but it's a very important week and you're considering all the pros and cons here okay let's dive right in three cards for the capricorn collective for the week of october 2nd okay not the right time forgiveness big happy changes wow the cards are flying out of my hands do you see this it is not the right time for you to be second guessing and doubting yourself forgive yourself for whatever decision didn't work out for you in the past and i know a couple of you will 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 connect very well with this message uh you know it's it's not the right time to be to be very hard on yourself it's time to forgive everything that happened in the past whether it was you who initiated it whether it was somebody else and you were at the receiving end because none of it matters anymore capricorn this is all done this cycle if you remember we saw the world card this cycle is coming to a close so why hold on to something that honestly no longer features in your life and it's really up to you you can just release this you can continue to hold on to it and feel 
like you know disillusioned unhappy dissatisfied or you can choose to learn from everything that you went through and then release it because what's coming in are these big amazing happy changes for you capricorn so i feel like a lot of you need to just recognize that yes maybe something didn't work out for you in the past the way that you were hoping for it to but it's all part of our karmic destiny it's all part of you know maybe it taught you some skills maybe it taught you something about your own self which is now going to be extremely critical and very helpful in the next chapter of your money and career so i think you need it to go through whatever this is you know whatever that you need to forgive yourself or somebody else uh for because what's coming in is this beautiful big happy changes i mean gosh you have so much to look forward to capricorn i just need you to keep your vibration high this week connect to your core whether that's manifesting whether that's journaling whether that's taking a long walk you know after a stressful day at work whether it's just having five minutes of quiet time in the morning or before you go to bed going over why is it that you're doing what you're doing and why is it that you're manifesting what you're manifesting what have you learned from your past and you know heal from it and i think a lot of you already have and release it because you got to make room you got to make room for this big happy change that's just around the corner scorpio wow sorry i didn't mean to call you scorpio but you know i read so much for scorpio and my capricorn uh, collective so it's bound to happen but you know we did see scorpio as a timing thing in your cards so maybe you know and i always take everything that happens in a reading as a sign whatever i see however i feel how i'm communicating my energy level so i feel like scorpio season could be when you have this big happy change oh my god and we're already like what on the 2nd of october so you just have a few more weeks to go before we enter scorpio season so scorpio season starts october 25th till about mid november so very significant time period coming up for you when it comes to your money and career sector so I hope you enjoyed this Capricorn. If you did, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. If you are keen on winning a 15 minutes free personalized reading with me, all you got to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notifications bell. Um, you know, select all notifications that way you're always uh notified when I upload new content and you know, if you're if you're a subscriber, thank you for the support and you know I read uh, quite a bit for Scorpio and Capricorn. Um Those are the two signs that have really helped me build my channel. Uh so I'm very very grateful and like to tap into that energy. So you got to be subscribed to the channel, you got to leave me a comment with your full name and the sentence I claim this reading. Uh that's all that you got to do and then stay tuned, keep watching. I will be announcing one winner per week for the next 5 weeks or so. Um because I want to pick about 5 subscribers as my lucky winners. Maybe I'll pick more than 5. I haven't quite decided. Loving the energy, loving the support. loving all your comments thank you so much it means the world to me i wouldn't be here without all of you so um i'm truly truly grateful and you allow me to manifest my purpose into reality so uh it means the world to me thank you capricorn i see this is a big significant week for you hang in there you've got all the tools that you need to succeed um and and you know close that door close that door to the past it's all done it's you've been there you've done that uh you're ready for your big happy change that's coming up real soon in the next few weeks so stay tuned capricorn i wish you all the best take care bye bye